Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make an animated lower third, which you can then use in your videos. Let me just show you this real fast right here. There's the animation. After 10 seconds, it goes back out again. We'll see that here in just a second. Right there. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in the Video Proc Vlogger program. Let's start off by clearing everything out of here on the timeline. We'll be putting all the stuff back in as we go. There we go, everything's cleared out. Now up at the top, as I have some solid screens. There's a download link for this in the description. You can then download these if you want to for your own use. There's a blue screen, a green screen, a white screen, and a black screen. We'll be using just the green screen and the white screen in this part of this video. If you want, you can put some video on here. I just have a bit of video, just of a beach scene right here. You can use this just for reference as we're building this. I also want to get this a bit larger. So I'll go over here, click on fit size. There we are, our 10 second mark is right here. We'll be making a 10 second long animation. And for that, we'll use the white screen up here. Pull this down onto the overlay track, right there. When we finally output this whole thing, we'll replace this video track with that green screen. But right now, here's our overlay. And here's where we're gonna be making our little animated bit. This pulls down to the bottom left corner like that. You can then grab these control handles and resize it. So bring it down to about here. And then it's just make that a bit wider right there. You can decide exactly how big you want this depending upon what your content is. But that's a pretty good size in here to start off with. We're now going to change the color of this. And for that, let's shrink these up out of the way here. There we go. And go up to Color and Filter right here. And then click on Color and Filter Editor. And here we need to add some color into this white. So take the color slider here, the temperature slider, and put that all the way to the right. And that just brings in some color for us to work with. Let's now set the exposure all the way to the left, kind of darkens things down. Set the contrast all the way to the right and the saturation all the way to the right as well. It gives us kind of a nice blue. And you can play around with this and get different colors in here just by moving these sliders around like that. I'll put that back where it was. And then down below here, you also can do more adjustments right here with the hue, saturation, and lightness choosing different color values in there. But for right now, we'll leave it at these settings. They're real basic and easy to replicate. Choose Apply. And there's our base color for our title section. We're now going to add a little border effect on this. Go up to Effects. And over here it says border, drag that down, and put this onto the effect track right down here. It puts a border on the whole thing, as you can see, we need to fix that. So let's just get these things minimized a bit here, where it says scope, come down and choose white screen and uncheck canvas. So now it's only on just the white screen right here. Of course, the size is too big. Go over here to properties. We need to bring our size down on this a little bit. I'll type this in. The size I used here is 2.16 and make it just slightly transparent. Let's set the alpha setting here at 0.75. Just kind of softens that down just a bit. So there's our little border. Now I need to add another effect on top of this. And for that, come down to the effect track right here. Hit that plus sign. I want to have this effect track on top of the other effect track. I take our border and just drag that down. So here's this new effect right here. And for this one, we want to do a smoke effect. So pull this straight down and the smoke effect is right there. Same thing, drag it down onto this layer. Now you can put the effects on the same track if you want to. It's just easier having them on separate tracks. Okay, so that's in place. Go back over here and where it says scope, set that for white screen and uncheck canvas. And now that's just inside that little bit of video right there. If I play this, you'll see it's now getting us that animated smoke effect inside of that bar. And that looks fine. Okay, go back here to the beginning bit. Let's now put some text on here. So go right here to the text button. This brings up our text editor right hand side and here it says text. Type your text in right here. I'll just put my name in. This side doesn't really fit properly. So grab the control handles here and pull that out until the text fits the way you want it to. There we go. And let's change the typeface in here. This is an aerial typeface. I want to have this kind of fancier Bauhaus face right there. The size is at 148 right now. I want to have this size at 120. I'll just type that in. There we go, there's that size. I can then shrink this box down to get it a bit closer just for convenience sake, like that. So now pull that down and position it right in here where you want it. Okay, type is now positioned properly. But I need to control our durations on everything. I want to have this whole thing running for 10 seconds. So I'll come down here to the white screen, click on that. 10 seconds is right here. So if we go up here to time and duration, we can actually adjust the duration right here if you want to and make this 10 seconds, or you can drag it out to that 10 second point. Let's just do it right up here. There's where the seconds go. Let's make that 10. 
and apply and do that for all of these layers duration right here 10 seconds and apply and our border effect same thing 10 seconds and apply and scroll down there's our text now on the text i want to have this a little bit different i want this coming in just a second after everything else comes in and then leave a second before everything else so it's a little bit different on our time so we want a start time up here of one second so that's zero one and want an end time at nine seconds so that's zero nine and apply that comes in a second later and leaves a second earlier on that animation okay that's all looking really nice we'll now do the animation on this whole thing and that's on the white screen that animates this background section and for animation we want to have this animating in the first second and then going out in the last second so that the type comes in only when this thing is at its fullest extent right there okay we're on the white screen layer it's our overlay layer we'll go up here and come down to fade and move right here and I want this moving up in the bottom left hand corner right here and I want it to fade in and enter progressively and duration at one second that's fine and then right down here move out under the backwards of that so we'll be moving out down to the left side fade out progressively and again the duration here is one second and that's now all taken care of see how this looks from the beginning there's that move right there. It then goes through, plays about eight seconds with a title on it. And on the last second, it then moves back out again, just like that. Okay, that's all set, so the animation is ready. Let's now export this, get the setup for export so we can then use it in other videos as a video piece. So I'll get rid of this background we have here, go back to our media library, and I'll grab our green screen background, pull that down. Now, I want to have this the same length as everything else. This needs to be at 10 seconds. We can just pull that out and drop it on there. That fits. We also need to change our settings down here for the smoke and the border. So click on smoke, come down here and uncheck green screen and click on border and same thing, uncheck green screen. So those effects are now set. Let's see how this looks. Play from the beginning right here. That looks good. Plays for eight seconds and then it's going to back out again right about now there it is okay that's working out fine we can now export this out click on the export button and here you want to have this exporting on the high quality engine right there this is the lossless mode we want to have this at the highest quality that we can for this give it a new name i'll call this one bottom third name choose a location for this i'm saving mine into a video proc folder that i made on my c drive Name it anywhere you want. If you want to change that location, just click on the three dots right here and then navigate to a new location and give it a new name. Format, I'll leave this at MP4. Everything else, I'll leave the same. Just fine. And then I'll click on Start and Export This. This will go pretty fast. It's just a little 10 second piece. It's not going to take it a whole lot of time to export this out at that high quality lossless mode. And there we go. That's done. And that's right there. All right, let's now see how we can use this inside of a different video. So we'll start off by doing a brand new file. Go up here and let's do new project right there. Right hand side, you can choose where to save this to. Let's just change this over to my working folder. Click on your save folder right there. Choose select folder. Let's change the name up here. All Scott lower third title test. We're all set to go there. Everything else at their defaults. New project. There we are. I need to bring in a bit of video just for our background video. So click on that plus button and then navigate to your folder where you have your video. Choose open. And we'll pull that down and place it right here. And let's zoom in on that fit size. Let's now bring in our video clip with our lower third animation. Same thing, click on the plus right here. Navigate to the folder where you saved your file. And that's that one right there. Choose open. And this pulls down here onto the overlay track, which is right there. Okay. Now we need to get this positioned properly and sized properly. So right hand side over here, let's just collapse all these things. There we are, that's good. A lot of options in there. Go up to transform and fit screen width, that's nice. I'm gonna pull over here so I can kind of see what's going on. There we are. Let's collapse that, come down here to chroma key and choose enabled. That clears out that background. If you have anything showing odd around the edges here, you may want to adjust your tolerance and smoothness, but this is fine for this. So here's that video. Let's now see how this looks from the very beginning. I'll go ahead and we'll click on the play from start. There's that animation that's playing on top of our video bit up there. It goes for that eight seconds and then it animates back out again right there. Okay, we can now use this clip in any video that we want to. You still can go fancier though. If you feel like taking this even further, 
Let's say I wanted to make a change on this one just to make it a bit different from this particular video. You can add effects onto this overlay track. Let's go up here to effects and I'll use one over here. It's just called colorful bubbles. Let's just pull that down. It goes onto an effect track right there. I want the length to match. So I'll just pull it down and it should snap right to that end right there. You see that kind of a green line there. Okay, same length. And that's going to be putting this bubble effect on everything. But just like before, we can limit that effect to just the one layer. And that's our scope here. So uncheck canvas and choose bottom third. That effect is now limited just onto our little animated title. And let's see how this looks from the very beginning. Click on play from start. There it is. There's that new effect we just added onto that. Working out just fine. Gets down to the eight seconds and then nine second point and it goes out again. So there you go. That's how you can create an animated bottom third title card or anything else that you want. Save it out as a green screen element and then use that in your video projects. And if you like this video, click on like, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for more video product vlogger videos and I'll see you next time.